I'm just trying to see what I can work with, you know, for now. Uh, but in, anyways, yes, so we're still going to be on the floor and I'm probably it's going to be probably like this for a couple of recordings. Um, hopefully I can think of something to maybe fix not having um, my, my like, dresser in front. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but uh, I'll think of something. <laughs> eventually but anyways we're here to quickly review because this um you know this is a mask so it's not like i can go too much in de into detail and all that such but with this we have the movable ball mask which i've technically oh, actually oh yeah that, that there you go it will stay like that which is technically like my my favorite like ball thing i have it's like, uh, I do technically have a few more other stuff, but I'll eventually show that in the future. Uh, but yeah, basically this ball mask has a plastic little casing for the horns. Um, it's not fully solid, it's a bit hollow in, it's hollow in there. But yeah, basically they've done that and they did a nice detail of the grooves inside, you know, along it. You got the nice, you got the nice, you got a nice like, orangey eyes to stand out from the black which is very very nice too um, they actually did like little glass eyes as well and oh we've got to be a bit careful and once again they did like a little plastic bit for the nose and you know the, the mouth bit but the only thing that I feel is a little bit uh, it's like okay I guess it still works but it does look a little bit creepy and be aware right is Actually, I'm not so sure if I can get it on camera. Maybe I'll use, yeah, I'll use this camera. Right. You, yeah, you can kind of see it. I did put the light on. Is Yeah, they actually gave it like human teeth like this. I feel like this isn't exactly like a, like a cow or bull's like mouth. But yeah, it's kind of a bit weird. And it looks even more creepy from inside. Actually, I've showed it inside. Like I said, it's all like you know, hard like plasticky mould, right, they've done this, and there, there is the teeth, <laughs> oh you can just about see that, yeah, there you go, you got, you got the head little strap string, which um, is very hard to use, to be honest, of course that's where the, gl the glass eye and all that such, so you only get half of the eye itself to view out of, which isn't too bad, and you know, like I said, you can kind of, can kind of see out of the nostrils too. But yeah, this ball mask is quite good looking, right? To be honest, like for real, it's like a, it is quite like a proper like fur suit kind of like a head design. Uh, I wouldn't say it's perfect, but hey, it's you know it's it's all right. And you you know got a little bit of fluffy hair on top as well in the big joint ears. But yeah, it's not too bad but it has a big flaw that big flaw is it's kind of more designed for a pacific and i mean a pacific um head design uh, and because of that it is difficult and i mean truly is difficult to get your chin lined with the mouth to you know basically have what it does which is basically a, you know mouth opening and shutting and even then i feel like it's more designed for like a child head size in a way it's kind of hard to describe it's like one hand it's like to get in put your head into it it's like yes a kind of a child head would be much more better but to actually operate the mouth um and of course have your eye line exactly with the ball but still be able to move the mouth you need some sort of kind of wide head I've tried to modify this in the past which didn't work out by like adding like these like foam pads or something from a different costume that were like sticky and all that such um, along with the chin is but no it's not much I can do right okay and now and now it's time to actually wear it I suppose ah uh, almost almost get in there <laughs> get in there <laughs> Yeah. 
there we go. <laughs> kind of. Oops, 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 stop my recording. Okay, still. Okay. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I said, you can, um, you know, you can actually get into this and basically talk. But basically, to do like the big movements, you do have to open the jaw a bit more wider, you know, so it makes it look like it's more talking. But uh, if you just talk normal, it of course it isn't. If you talk, I don't know, I fucked it up now, <laughs> kind of. My visibility is now pointing up now. <laughs> Damn it, I fucked it a bit. But uh, like I said, it is kind of hard to actually use. But um, yeah, this is the ball mask, which actually, yeah, I did like a skit, didn't I? Yes, yeah, so I had actually, I actually had this as a skit at one point. But yeah, basically your best visibility, your best feeling, yeah, just in case if I'm, that's not working out. Uh, <laughs> I'll probably have to rise the volume level for that. Yeah, the best thing is visibility will of course be where the mouth is, mostly. Because, uh, like I said, it's a weird, very weird, like, body, you know, a very, very weird head shape to even get this to work. Um, so yeah, it's not quite great, but it's, like I said, it's, like I said, it does its job and its gimmick of its moving mouth does an okay job. Like you can probably see yourself <laughs> on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's a very, very fun like mask. Uh, but if I had to do, actually, oh, I don't, I don't know where to put my phone because I don't know how good the sound quality is. Um, compared to like my other like costumes that I review you know and what such like I said it's cool you know it's very well made um apart from the head itself you know like actually to operate it is bad and uh, the visibility is okay when you get to actually work it um and like I said uh the mouth is kind of the only spot where you really do get to see it more than the eyes so yeah uh, what else could I? Um, it 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 does feel kind of comfortable, by the way. Um, apart from, of course, where you put your chin, you know, the chin with the mouth to operate the mouth, of course. But that is like a hard, like you're kind of digging your chin into the plastic, and it does kind of hurt over time. Um, I've always found that to be an issue with this. Um, but yeah, other than other than like the kind of weird teeth and basically, you know, very hard to operate. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's quite a good movable mask. But anyways, uh, yeah, if I had to do review this, why why does this have to be so hard? <laughs> and now I can't shut it. Uh, <laughs> Oh, good. oh, oh, I've hit the horns. <laughs> I've hit the horns on the, on the wall. Uh, but, um, yeah, <laughs> my mistake. Uh, anyways, uh, if I had to do a review this, I would say it would have to be more of a 4, it would have to be more of like a 4 out of 10. I think the, the other ones, they actually have made other ones, like a horse one, and I think, was there a goat one? I don't think no, 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 a unicorn, there was a unicorn one at one point, uh, but yeah, there was, like I said, I probably would like to eventually get them as well, and there we go, my grip is gone again, and I think I'm going to give up for now, <laughs> rather than hurt my chin even more than I have. Ah, uh, my nose, oh yeah, also because my nose, my nose grinds on the mouth bit to even get in. This is a very hard to wear um, ball mask, but yeah, I kind of love it. It is definitely quite a decent mask. Um, but yeah, I would probably give this a 4 out of 10 because, you know, it's design, it's cool. Um, it can be very fun to play in, like you just saw. <laughs> I, I do have quite a bit of fun in this, for sure. But uh, like I said, it has it has a bit of a problem with it, so I can't, I cannot recommend it at like a high level. Um, so it has to be like a 4 has to be like a 4 out of 10 for this. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed.
If you enjoyed, don't forget you can subscribe and perhaps hit that bell to not miss a video. Also, we do have a Discord server, and yes, on that server we do sometimes talk about costumes as well. We do have a costume channel for all that topic. Just be sure to go to the Royal Picker channel to unlock the channel. Anyways, my name is Fluffy Chops, and goodbye.